Microsoft Excel. When you hear those words, you probably think of a spreadsheet program that most people use for normal things like financial analysis, inventory management, and record keeping. But what if I told you that it was completely possible to make a game entirely within Excel? Turns out there's this thing called Visual Basic for Applications, or VBA, integrated within Excel, which allows you to program from within it. Most normal people would use this for utilizing macros to automate things like copying and pasting, formatting data, or creating charts. But I'm not normal, so I decided to push it to its limit and attempt to create a game within it. Specifically Flappy Bird, as in my opinion, it is the sort of titular benchmark game whenever you learn a new engine, or in this case, Office application. So, without any further delay, let's get right into how this was even possible in the first place, by discussing... So, as a quick introduction as to how VBA works, within the editor you can have access to sheets, modules, and classes. These are all pretty self-explanatory. The main way we can program methods in VBA is by declaring a sub, which in this case stands for subroutine. Within these subroutines, we could pretty much do anything we feel like within Excel's limitations. So, for the first build, here's what I created. Basically, I was able to create and set a range for the bird and floor, and simply color them accordingly. Then, I created a simple do until loop that clears the previous cell, offsets the bird cell by one, and colors it in once again, until it reaches the ground. Here's what it looks like in action. Right now, it does not really look like a game, but trust me, even seeing a bit of animation, if you can even call it that, within Excel is quite cool. Moving on, the second build of the game expanded a tiny bit on the first one. For this, I went ahead and added gravity and tested a bouncing movement. VBA allows you to declare variables and such within it, like any other program, and it was really quite easy to set up. Alongside this, I created some proper subroutines known as initialize bird, update bird, and draw bird which is usually what you do in most game engines as well. Also, I had to implement a timer in order for the game to function properly, and this was a bit trickier than I expected. I basically had to research how it worked, and learn there's a different timer for 32-bit windows and 64-bit. And on top of that, I actually had to mess around with how the timer actually functioned, since there really wasn't that much documentation out there. So, after a lot of tinkering and playing around, here's what the build looked like. We now had a bouncing yellow cube. Next up, I decided to work on getting input to work, which was surprisingly really easy. Firstly, I had to create a subroutine for setting and resetting keys like this. This allows Excel to detect if we pressed or let go of a key. Then, I was able to get some basic jump variables and created a simple jump subroutine that is called when you press the up arrow key. With this, here's what it looks like. The game at this point was slowly coming together, as input was a pretty big step in completing it. The next best thing I worked on for this to look more like an actual game were sprites. Now, I know Excel allows you to import images directly into it, but I decided for this game I'd create the graphics within Excel itself, and this was a pretty massive pain to do. Firstly, I made a new sheet known as sprites and made each cell a perfect square. Then began the painful process of manually filling in each cell with the right color. For reference, this clip playing of me making a basic Flappy Bird sprite took about 5 minutes, when in most art programs this could take way less time. I basically navigated to the cell using my arrow keys and filled it in using my mouse. While it did take a while, I actually enjoyed it oddly enough. With the bird sprite being made, I went ahead and declared a range within Excel to be called SPR underscore Flappy. And it's cool that Excel lets you do this, as I made a sprite sheet, literally. Then, instead of drawing a yellow cell where the player is, I changed it to the range and boom, we had a Flappy Bird sprite in the game. Next up, while this wasn't really necessary, I wanted to add some character selection, similar to my other Flappy Bird game. So, I went ahead and made these sprites for a bunch of characters, including some fan favorites. Then, to determine which character you select, I made a global variable and had it changed depending on which button you selected on the game's menu sheet. This was quite time consuming, but really easy to implement. Anyways, next up I had to create the actual game window, as in right now the game was just being tossed on a random sheet. The way I did this was by declaring some variables like the game's width and height. Then the game would draw a border, taking these variables into account. When starting the game now, we had this simple border surrounding the screen. You can see here as well, I also made a way to resize every single cell into a pixel. Next, we needed to draw the actual screen. So, I picked out some colors to use and did that exact method again to draw a background and floor. 
After this, I condensed the player's code into a class which would allow us to instantiate it anywhere we felt like, and made it do so in our new game window. The game was finally starting to look more and more like a proper game. However, we were missing probably the next largest aspect of Flappy Bird being the pipes. Firstly, I went ahead and made a pipe sprite, which at this point was just a really long green bar with a gap in the middle. Then, to code the pipes being at a random height, I set up some basic variables like the gap size and max and minimum height. I also made it so it would not drop past the floor and ceiling. And here's what all of that looks like. Every time the game would start, the pipe would appear at a different height. Next, I wanted the pipes to not look like a giant green log, but actual pipes. So, I took a bit of time to manually recreate the new Super Mario Bros. pipe sprite in Excel, and while this took forever, this was 100% worth it, as it looked so much better than before. Now, I had to get the pipes to actually move, which was a lot simpler than I thought. I basically made it so that if the pipe's next column was not the farthest left cell, then it would move over. Otherwise, it would set its location back over the right side at a random height. As you can see here, this works just fine. And you can also see a limitation of Excel being that the game is very choppy. Can't do too much about this as far as I know, but I was perfectly content with this. Next up, I wanted to work on game states. By this I mean having a proper title screen, game screen, and game over screen. Before doing this, I quickly made a grass block sprite and applied it to the floor to make the game look a lot nicer. Then, I went ahead and programmed in a play again state that when prompted, you will be able to press either Y or N. Y would restart the game, and N would take you back to the main menu. For this, I wanted a visually appealing sprite for it, which I'm kinda kicking myself because this sprite took like another 20 minutes to make because it's freaking massive. But again, this was well worth it because the game looked really polished for an Excel game. After all of this, I had to spice up the menu because at the moment, it just looked like garbage. And so, after what was probably like another hour of reconstruction and sprite art, this is what the game's menu looked like, and I was really happy with it. You could select a skin on the right, and start the game over on the left. And with this menu being completed, I decided to call it here. I was really happy with how this turned out, as I somehow made a visually appealing game within Excel, with physics, character selection, collision, game states, and more. It was something that despite being extremely primitive and somewhat stressful, I still had a ton of fun with. During the creation of this game, Excel crashed hundreds of times because it became too unstable and I was really close to just quitting, but I'm really glad that I actually finished it. And I can't actually recommend Excel as a proper game engine, but if you have any interest with working with extremely stupid or limited programs, I'd say give it a shot. If you want to play this game for yourselves, I'll leave a link to a niche.io page with the sheet available to download. Fair warning, you'll have to unblock the sheet on your PC in order for it to run properly as it uses macros, but don't worry, it's not a virus or anything like that. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed if you haven't. And if you have any other ideas for games or challenges like this, leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.